So my name is uh, Thomas Renners. I was the local project leader for our very young MPCC implementation in Halle in Germany. Uh, young, I mean, we went live with the software in May 2008 this year, um, but we started with rip reduction already in the beginning of this year. So first of all, I want to clarify why do we need transformers? And this is a very simple, simple picture here. That means in the near of power plants, uh, transformer are transforming the power from a low voltage form to a higher voltage form for uh, the power transmission over long distances to the substation, and then back again from this high voltage form to uh, the low voltage form to deliver the energy to the customer. And um, that means low voltage means um, low current, uh, high voltage means low current, and that's, these are means uh, low resistances, low losses. It's just uh, for economic uh, transportation over the wires of the grid. So who are we? I will just uh, especially talk about um, one business unit, uh, power, power products, and here especially about uh, power products transformer service. And in transformer service, we are one of the largest players worldwide. We have 25 uh, service centers. For example, the service center for um, North America is uh, located in St. Louis. And for South America, for example, in, in Brazil, in uh, Gularus. So my Portuguese is not the best. But and also, Halle is one of the key players in this ABB team. Um, it means not only because of the amount of, of revenues, um, but also um, because we are the pilot in the MPCC implementation in the, uh, in the service part of the transformer service. And um, after our successful implementation, um, also the uh, other factories will follow us. So when we're talking about the stress portfolio, what is scope of our MPCC implementation? Then it's the factory repair and the trafo site repair, which means factory repair. Um, in the factory, we perform all services on transformers uh, up to 1,100 MVA, uh, 525 kV, and we have a lifting capability of uh, 500 tons uh, repair can be. Also, a product from us is just to produce the winding blocks and to uh, transport them in vessels, for example, to other ABB companies. Um, and we can also perform all um, services on site, which means we are bringing our factory on site. That means in our um, temporary on site tents, we can also assure uh, the same quality. Um, to ex to understand um, our process, I draw a small picture. So I just want to uh, explain it and to uh, show maybe the, the challenges per process step. So what we, what we are doing normally, we are doing a quotation for the investigation part and the service part of a transformer to the customer. Um, then, the, then the transformer comes in and we start to investigate. It means we are performing an electrical incoming test um, then we disassemble the transformer, we investigate him electrical and uh, on the me mechanical parts, and uh, after that, after this disassembly, um, we are doing an updated quotation, because now we have, uh, we have seen the transformer, investigate him. Um, and so, let's say these, these, um, this complete process step can take from one to um, six weeks. Then we are making this updated quotation to the customer, and then there is a certain customer decision process. Um, that means till uh, the customer comes back with the order for the repair. And this is very difficult because sometimes when uh, insurances are involved in this customer decision process, then it can take very long. And um, during that time, the transformers disassembled in our factory and uh, blocks our material flow. So it's really challenging, we have to focus to um, decrease this uh, customer decision process. So then we are getting the order and we are starting with the, with the engineering. And then it depends if it's an ABB transformer, then we have uh, the design available. Or it's a non-ABB design from Siemens, Siemens, for example, then we have to do a complete re-engineering. 
And so this can take from one week up to um, uh, three months. So and during this in engineering, we have to order the materials. And um, this is very, very special, we have to say. We have a lot of, um, or the most of the materials, which are critical for the lead time, we have to order order bounded. That means we cannot have them on stock. So for example, bushings I've showed you, they on the high voltage side, they can have a delivery time of, of one year. So we are really impacted by the by this material parts in our cycle time, and uh, at the moment in the growing market, um, also the uh, uh, suppliers for components are really fully booked, and um, this is a challenge. So and then we have the production where we assembly the transformer, we are sh uh, testing and, and shipping them. So it means we are producing the windings, we overhaul the tank. Um, we're preparing, we're preparing the old core, we're doing the active part assembly, the final assembly, we are putting the active part in the tank, uh, and then we are testing them and make them ready for shipping. As I said, our chances is the overall global service market. It means um, the need for energy is uh, as high as, as ever, and we are looking forward to a very aging uh, transformer population. Um, I think the average is, um, 30, 30 years old transformer. So the risk for power outage uh, is, is very high, and this is a good opportunity. We are the first large uh, factory in our market, market who are focusing exclusively on service um, within the ABB. So we have the, ch the chance now to real uh, develop um, products on the sales side, which are really value added for the customer, like on-site testing or fleet screening, for example. And when we talk about um, repairs, an alternative to repair is always to buy a new transformer. And here we have the, uh, we can say that an, an repair is often 30% uh, faster and also less, less, less uh, expensive than, than a new one. So, and uh, speed, speed in our model is a main advantage, especially for industry customers. Um, AJ said this uh, example, when an uh, aluminum fabric losing the transformer and losing per day millions, then uh, cycle time is here really very important. But also for the um, power utilities who have really uh, um, yeah, a schedule where they close their, their grids. So um, also here, the cycle time, very important. The challenge we have in Halle, um, since we are ABB, we had uh, the new and service business in parallel. Um, so, but in this year we will work on our last new transformer and then we will just uh, focus on service. Uh, the challenge is here that um, now, let's say the, the growing amount of the, of the service, okay. that now we see that um, undefined processes have to be defined and that um, especially engineering uh, engineers um, are getting new roles and responsibilities. So the complete organization is in a, in, a, in a change process. And what I highlighted here, I think I took this bullet as a challenge, but it's also a chance because we have really the need to change. We must change uh, to, to grow in, this, in the service market. And uh, that's why the complete organization is um, they're expecting a lot from, from this implementation and they are willing to work with us. So this is, is, is also be a chance for us. Service is an environment of high uh, uncertainty, as I said. Repair cases are unexpected and then there are rush orders. They have to, we have to deliver them as fast as possible. We have to do more engineering, unknown, different designs from non-ABB manufacturers. Um, Scope is different from order to order, and then after the scope changes, mostly after investigation. And if we've done the investigation bad, then it's also uh, the scope changes then uh, uh, while we're doing the repair. The suppliers are fully booked. We have long lead times. And um, our resources are also used on site. So we have shared resources in the factory uh, and also on site. Of course, um, from the middle, middle size um, companies, we have also a big um, fight, of which means they are, cannot deliver the complete scope we can, but they are um, 
less less ex less of uh, low cost and um, are faster. The results. So the direction of the MPCC uh, implementation was um, so we identify in critical chain a way how we can manage our environment of, of uncertainty and we have to focus on internal speed to uh, yeah, get our project done faster. And we are measuring our results on three KPIs. The first is the percentage of circle time reduction. So when we went live in March, in May, um, we targeted for all um, projects which aren't, uh, where we haven't started production, haven't started engineering, an internal productivity increase of 25%. Um, so that means for orders which are completed nearly uh, July, August, we saw a uh, potential of 8%, 8% because we are limited by external suppliers and also internal processes. And we achieve for our first project a cycle time reduction of four to seven percent, and that is it's very good. We improved our on-time delivery performance our internally, so we we started with sixty sixty-eight uh, percent, and we achieved uh, eighty-three percent of the first ten. Uh, tw 10 of 12 orders which are completed now in Concerto are on time. This is a very good result. And the third KPI is the throughput in number of projects, which means here we are um, comparing the, the, pipeline the, the pipeline of the first half of the year with the, the pipeline we had in the end of 2007 and the pipeline of the second half of the year with um, the pipeline we had in, in May. And you can see that we have 29% more projects in the pipeline, which means that due to the implementation of MPCC, we, um, we were able to meet the aggressive or the big growth plan of ADB, where we have to grow uh, yearly about 30%. The key success factors. I think the first of all is the project, was the project core team. Um, very important, of my opinion, was the, one, the external experts. We had AJ for one week in, in Halle and it was amazing. In just a few days, he understands our, completely, our complete business, our processes. And we designed the, uh, um, yeah, the, the solution. And um, Travis helped us then in the following five weeks to, to implement this solution, and this was this was a major major key. Then also, I think it's important to have internal um, experts, just not only the one who have the knowledge internally in the rest of the organization. I think it should be also people um, where the organization is trusting in. Huh? So it's typical for German that they don't believe uh, to things from outside, but um, you can you can achieve more if it's if, if if it's people from inside. So and of course the implementation champion this was our GM who was in charge of all the uh, departments to force really really decisions and to drive the change. And um, we were reporting to him minimum once once a week about uh, decisions decisions to be made. Um, how we've done the whip reduction. We started, in, I said, uh, we started in the beginning of 2008 without the software. That means how we did it. Very simple, on a whiteboard where we had all the departments and we set local BIP targets. It means we have, uh, we implemented um, um, a pool system where we have active pools where we said here is the maximum uh, number of active orders per, per department. And we had a passive pool where all the uh, waiting tasks were prioritized. And um, when we finished one in the active pool, then, it w then we were allowed to start the next one. But just, it was important that uh, the, the full kit was, is, uh, was fulfilled. That uh, means that documents or materials were available. Very, very simple. It's maybe not the best, best solution. It just uh, should show nothing holds you back from uh, starting with reduction without the software. 
and um, the risk the risk is really to when when you're doing this then that you're um, maintaining local local targets maintaining local dates so that's why today we pipeline encoding our virtual drum it's the assembly active part assembly to testing phase and um, we are applying to for the task managers to put the maximum resources per task and these local whip targets we just uh, take today as um, as a cross check um, planning let's say we implemented very and very aggressive planning that means when we want to achieve a 25 percent improvement then we have also to um, to plan so aggressively um, we have few tasks 70 and just two milestones in in the template it means milestones the repair order in it's after an investigation and customer decision process and the project end I think the key and uh, our major focus in the solutions uh, so solution design was in the buffer management and this is a sentence I have heard from from AJ low whip needs a culture of fast issue resolution and fast execution that is that is really was really the main key and based based on this we redesigned our execution processes um, and we redesigned them how they can be supported by by the concerto reports so we implemented the daily task management uh, processes and the structure in engineering and production as a, as a base that was the first step then the second step was after stabilizing the task management process to implement the management review process um, that means we, ha we had to redesign our uh, meeting contents our roles and responsibilities and also the, the the timely sequence to increase management involvement and that means that we are focused them on decision making and that is that is that is really the key this is the decision making for speed up execution um, and we're gaining today out of it but with out of concerto to have really clear priorities and really early warnings um, so in the past, it, 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 the priorities of the project aren't clear, and most of most of the time, project till the till the project end date, um, there was a lot of troubleshooting. So from that point of view, we to be focused from from the beginning of a project was uh, also a major key success factor. Managing non-concerto work. Especially in engineering, we have a lot of work which is which is not in the system. Um, we have a lot of uh, offer work, and also some. We have in per year about 1,000 smaller uh, field main maintenance uh, uh, processes, and they also need uh, engineering, which means uh, uh, to calculate the hours and, and um, to to order the materials, and um, these. This work is, was not in the system, so we had to find a way how to prioritize them on a weekly on a weekly sequence. Um, where we have a big room for improvement is the production support. We haven't found a good good solution um, to filter interruption for for the people that that the task managers have the possibility to filter interruptions. So this is uh, something what is still open, so that we have still in engineering um, we reduce the bad multitasking, but we have still a big amount there. Because of that, the production is directly calling the engineers and interrupt them from from project tasks. So um, we have to improve here. Which challenges we see? And from the three rules, I would say that we have um, very stable uh, planning process but uh, buffer management and pipelining here we have to improve especially in pipelining at the moment we haven't done good integrated process with sales engineering and pro project management implemented um, the risk is the risk is that we are losing control over the pipeline means that because of the big demand that we are putting more and more whip into the pipeline 
um, the orders get read, and this pushes so many red tasks, pushes the task managers um, to start ASAP and to multitask. So here we, we, we are trying to implement rules like um, really just to, to start like recommended by, by Concerto as late as possible, or we are trying to control the transformer uh, incoming date um, based on the uh, pipelining output. So here we have to improve. Um, today it's, it's more or less in the hand of the plan on the project managers, but also for the duration for engineering and um, of the WIP overall we need, we need to integrate sales and engineering very fast. In buffer management I see or we see two main challenges. Um, task management requires expertise. And uh, especially in engineering, we selected uh, the most experienced ones as task managers because, uh, because these are the only ones who can really fulfill the requirement of a task manager to um, prepare tasks, to speed up ongoing tasks, to help their uh, people to speed up execution, um, but on the on the other hand, these these experts are in the most cases the first choice to do in special work. So uh, that that means they don't have they are the first choice to doing offer work to do in engineering uh, for for repair because they are experienced in ye since years and the other engineers which are. Uh, Less, less experienced, um, yeah, the, key, the key is that the task management, task managers have not the capacity to do task management. Um, we have to convince the resource manager really that they should release the task managers from their daily work, that they have the, uh, the time to train their people, to, to help them. It's maybe for the uh, for the short-term view, um, a loss of, of uh, capacity, of course. But on the long-term view, um, it's, it will be a big improvement. It will be, um, um, yeah, increase the available capacity there. And what we are seeing also is task managers and task managers are trying to operate like before. They are used since years, since 20 years, to working to internal milestones, to very um, high visible schedules, fixed schedules, to, GAN, to work with GAN charts. Um, and what, what we've seen, they are following the priorities of the, um, of the task list, but they are transferring the task list into GAN charts because they think these fixed schedules are giving them uh, results. And they... Uh, that means they are not focusing or managing um, really the aggressive, the uh, aggressive duration. They are not looking um, forward to be, uh, to be as fast as, as fast as possible. They always look to have what is, what is the maximum duration I have. So and this is this is a, a big a big mind mind shift which needs ongoing communication and capacity uh, co coaching. Um, so. We, we have to show them the benefits of being, um, being finished earlier so that they can prepare for next orders, for example. Um, this, is, this, this mind shift is, is very, very challenging. And I, I think that a lot of people in this room are knowing what I'm talking about. Okay, thanks for your attention. <laughs>